in fear as Samantha denounced Meg stole her uncle Mike's $1 million hospital fees for a drug deal. Samantha Markle has claimed that her half-sister Megan lied to the royal family about her past. Miss Markle made the astonishing claim during an interview with Fox News host Tucker Carlson. She said that her half-sister Megan had told the royals in the UK that she'd worked at the US Embassy in Argentina before her marriage to Prince Harry, but it was a lie. Besides, Samantha Markle also released evidence accusing Meghan of stealing her uncle's hospital bills and causing him to lose his life painfully. What a cold-blooded woman. Earlier, Samantha Markle, the half-sister of Meghan Markle, has revealed why she thinks the Duchess didn't invite a side of the family to the royal wedding. Meghan and Prince Harry were married in May 2018 at St George's Chapel, Windsor Castle, with Meghan's mother Doria Ragland, the only figure from a side of the family in attendance. The former Suits actress's father, Thomas Markle, was initially welcomed to walk down the aisle. However, he suffered a heart attack just days before the nuptials and was engulfed in an embarrassing paparazzi setup, which ultimately led to the estrangement. Now, Samantha, 58, who's been outspoken of Meghan since she began dating Harry back in 2016, claims that Markle clan were puzzled when they were snubbed an invite to the big day until they developed a theory as to why. We started wondering, what's up with this, why? Then we started to realise, when you have a wedding and people start drinking champagne at the reception, they start talking. What could the motive be for keeping both sides of the family away? Well, the stories would start to come out. Samantha then goes on to claim that Megan had told porcupines about her work history. Specifically, her claim she'd worked for the US Embassy in Argentina while she was studying theatre and international relations at Northwestern University. Megan was just 20 at the time. In a 2015 TV interview with US host Rachel Ray, before she met Harry, Megan said, I used to work at the US Embassy in Buenos Aires, and it was another life. Let's say I've had nine lives. But Samantha claimed Megan didn't disclose that it was an internship paid for by her father, Thomas, of which her uncle Mike Markle wrote a letter of recommendation to help her to get the opportunity. Our uncle Mike, who worked for the embassy, is a favour to dad, Dad paid for a five-week study programme, and Uncle Mike threw in a letter of recommendation to be kind, even though he'd only met Megan when she was a baby, Samantha claimed. A five-week study programme doesn't equate with working at the embassy, which she told Rachel Ray and journalist Craig Ferguson on live television. So, all of these lies started to become apparent. So it makes sense. Megan thought, oh my god, I've got to keep everyone away because if they start talking, then the lies will come out. Back in 2019, Mike, who's now 83, hit out at Meghan for neglecting her family, claiming he'd probably done more for her than most, despite Samantha's aforementioned comment that he'd only met her when she was a baby. I personally talked to the ambassador in Argentina for her. I helped her out, and I didn't ask for anything in return, Mike told the Daily Mail in 2019. She didn't invite a lot of people to the wedding, so I don't feel that bad. She didn't discriminate against me personally. It would have been nice for her to have some of her family, but I don't understand her. I don't communicate with her because I understand they don't accept mail at the palace. In the six-part Netflix series Harry and Meghan, which was released in December, the Duchess said she was not close with most members of her side of the family, with the exception of Samantha's biological daughter, Ashley Hale, who Meghan had been friends with for many years. However, Meghan revealed she was advised by royal aides not to invite Ashley, who is a niece to the wedding, so as to distance herself from Samantha's repeated